Hello there everyone and welcome back to Let's Play the Smurfs. In the last part we finally defeated the dragon which gave me so much trouble and we got a password as a reward which I said was ONLV in the last part. However, two minutes before this recording I tried to verify that password but I noticed that there is no letter O in the password selection screen and it turns out the password is actually DNLV. You'll realize that now that when we try to go to the letter V, there's no O on our way to that. And so yes, the password is actually DNLV, like so. And you can see how an O looks like here where it says music on, the O and on. It looks slightly different from the letter D, but only very slightly. In my opinion, they fucked up. They've drawn the letter D very badly, I think. But yeah, let's just go and start. Indeed, Act 8, the Sledge Race. So it's indeed the correct password. There we go, this stage is kinda stupid. Same music as in stage 2, I think. Collect that letter S and then suddenly you can jump very, very high. And much like in the gold mine, you can uh, slow down by pressing the D-pad to the left. And there's an extra life there, no idea how to get that. Here, letter S and then a huge, huge jump. But we just missed that. We um, totally... We, sh we would have needed to land on the crow to make that jump, but we couldn't do it. And that's why the stage is kind of stupid. You have to memorize your jumps. Like in that jump, we would have needed to press left on the D-pad in mid-air to slow down and hit the crow. Like here. Except I slowed down a little bit too much. So yeah, this is stupid. You, you have to memorize things. You have to experiment how how each jump works, and that just kind of sucks. Like here, I press um, the jump button just as soon as I collect that letter S. I don't know what S stands for, maybe S for super jump or something. Um, let's try and see if we can make this jump now. No, we can't. Yeah, I really, right now, I see, right now I don't even know how to clear that one specific jump. So yeah, this, this stage is stupid in my opinion. In my opinion, they tried to add some variety, to have something different, a little, um, a little ride on the sled here, but it's a stupid stage. Okay, this time we cleared the jump, and I didn't actually press left on the D-pad at all, and this time I overshot, and we just got a game over. So yes, this is stupid. Let's just immediately try again. Not really a fun stage, in my opinion. We go, collected the star this time. So I, I have to memorize things. So, so there we go, collected that star. You, you saw me slowing down in midair here. I think you need to make a full jump here. Yep. We missed that star, but let's not care about that. And that was that was the jump where I was jumping too far in my previous attempt, I think. But this time. But this time it, it looks as if I didn't need to slow down at all, so I don't even know what's up with that. I think it has to do with timing. Um, like, um, if you go slower in the beginning part of a stage, then um, the positions of the crows will be different. Like here, yeah, I got hit by that crow, and that um, changed the position of that one. And I just jumped as far as possible, and I still couldn't make that jump. Um, so yes, this... This is a stupid stage, not gonna lie. However, I am at the moment having more trouble with this stage than I than I had back then, I think. There we go, clear it this time. I always get hit by that crow. This time I went a little bit further, okay, and then I made that jump. Okay, now let's see here. Here I would have needed to slow down much earlier. That's the jump which usually always kills me. Okay, so... In the beginning, it seems like you almost don't need to slow down at all. I just did slow down in the first jump, though. You do need to slow down here if you want to get the star, like I just did. And here, let's go... Yep, you need to go as far as possible, then you need to slow down to get that star. Okay, there we go, and I think it's the next jump where you have to slow down a little bit. Slow down to get that star. No, it's this jump. Yep. Did you see that? I just slowed down a lot in midair. 
to um, clear that jump successfully. That was the fifth star. And that's the end of the stage. It's a very, very short stage, but you have to figure out how it works. And um, yeah, it's, it's not the best stage in my opinion. But we got all five stars. We get the bubbles as a bonus stage. We have no extra lives left, so um, if we die once more it's game over, so it would be wise to get the extra life here. I did get a berry to get one extra point of health, and there we go. Made it to the extra life, and I even collected some leaves. I think I got an extra life for having collected um, enough leaves. Six leaves, one berry and an extra life, that was very good, and now we're at Act 9 already. The bridge. Let's wait until this screen here disappears. There we go. And there's this great music from, from stage 4 again. Which I like a lot. The only track in this theme that's even better is the theme from the swamps. And this is a fairly easy stage. Those are the birds from the mountain stage, which was um, stage 6 I think. And again, they will go down a little bit when you jump on them. Except for these vertical going ones, they will not go down, which makes sense, because that would make it really awkward um, to gain height if these were going down. But um, at horizontally moving birds, like that one, they're going down if you stand too long on them. There we go. Yeah, those platforms here, they, they drop if you stand on them. And then there's those caterpillars again, which were also introduced in stage 4. And there's fish trying to hit you, no problem at all, can dodge them very easily. And um, that was bad timing. I should have planned my jump more carefully here. I wasn't looking for the, for the fish at all and then it just happened that, that as soon as I landed on the platform the fish also appeared and hit me, so that was very bad. But other than that, the stage went um, really smoothly and I had absolutely no problems at all up to this point. What I'm trying to say is that this stage here is actually really, really easy. Gotta drop down to get this star. There we go. Oh, and then a sudden direction change of the bird. The, my point still stands. This stage is really, really easy. Um, I'm just playing horribly right now and in fact during all of all of this let's play I've played really really badly this wasn't exactly a good performance at all but yeah I've talked much and I fell through the platform a little bit I've talked much and explained much and some deaths came from that however I will have a chance to redeem myself because at some point I will do the higher difficulties than easy. I have beaten this game on hard before and I've played much better there than I am right now. Got that star. Maybe I shouldn't risk going for the stars but I will still do it anyway. Let's wait for the bird to be in a good position to jump on. Let's see when does this guy change direction? He changes direction pretty much as soon as he reaches the star. Okay. So we made it this time, let's kill the caterpillar, let's go to the right even further, drop down here, then get this star, which is very easy to get, and then there's this one star, where you don't want to fall down in the water, and then that's the end of the stage already. Very short stage, we got all the five stars, yes. As I've said, I haven't played this game in over a year before I've started this Let's Play, and so yeah, this Act 8 and Act 9, I haven't played these two acts in over one year. So this is almost new to me again. Only almost, of course. Because I still do, oh shit, remember details. Well, maybe not details. Um, it's the opposite. I remember the, the stages in general, but not the details. And um, I just played very, very badly so far. Not into this at all so far. Act 10. Gargamel's Manor House. And there we go. It's that fantastic music from the swamps again. That's awesome. That's going to make this a lot more fun. There's a little ve Venus fly trap in that pot up there. You don't want to touch it. It will damage you. 
So we can't take that upper route here. We can grab the star in the lower corner. And I jumped onto that black smurf, which dam dealt some damage to me. I think I've demonstrated in stage 1 already that you cannot actually jump onto those black smurfs. It will, it will deal damage to you, so you can't, can't actually kill the black smurfs by jumping onto them. There's a present here, we can grab it. We shall use it at a suitable spot. Let's see if we can get that star. I think it would be a wise idea to kill that wasp first, that little black wasp. There we go. He just dropped the present. That sucks. Because I do remember that I actually wanted to save that present for a very special black smurf. You can kill the black smurfs with the explosion of the present. I do remember that. I think it was this one. I always killed this black smurf down there with the present. Yeah, he is very difficult to jump over. That's why I usually killed this one always. We need to carry that spring all the way to the left and jump up here. And then you need to carry this spring and put it here and jump over this um, over this boiling pot. Because if you touch that boiling pot there, then you will get damaged. And... Oh shit, I just died there. And you can't jump over it without the spring. You will not be able to jump high enough. I don't know why I went down there to the right again. Um, but yeah. You need to carry that spring. That fucking... Oh my god, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's... Again, I haven't played this, this game or this stage in over one year, but that's no excuse for playing so badly. Holy shit. Absolutely embarrassing performance throughout the entire Let's Play. But, um... Still, I only got one game over so far, but I'm very close to getting my second game over. Which would be really, really embarrassing. What am I doing? Okay, let me try and get that star. I couldn't do it. I got... Oh, did you see that? That explosion barely caught that black smurf and killed him. That was really cool. But yeah, um, I got stuck under that platform here and that's why I touched that black smurf. And got damaged. And now we are just one hit away from getting our next game over. Can I grab the berry? I can. But then I can't make it over the black smurf. And there's this asshole. That's the second game over. I can't believe that. That is beyond embarrassing. Actually, I got a game over in the beginning minutes of this recording, I just remember. Let's just quickly do this again. Wow, that... I really didn't think that I would get a game over here. That is horrible playing. Wow, I don't even know what to say. Man, my performance in Silver Surfer was better than this. And in Silver Surfer, I've already been playing badly. Okay, I barely slowed down quickly enough. Oh yeah, here I need to slow down again too. Yep, there we go. Yep, and then you need to slow down there. Oh, I missed that star, that's a shame. Okay, but I cleared the sledge race on my first try. See, that's what I mean. This is a stupid stage. If you once know how to time your jumps and when to press left on the D-pad to slow down a little bit, then the stage is really easy. But before that, you need to experiment and that's just stupid. So yeah, that's why I think that this sti that this um, sledge stage wasn't designed particularly well. Okay, let us try to quickly clear this stage here again. This is actually really an easy stage. I just played really badly in my previous attempts here. But let's see, maybe I can actually clear the stage on my first attempt now. Wouldn't that be... be nice? I think we're almost done. There we go, we got all five stars, I think, and that's the end of the stage again. Yeah, see? And now I cleared that stage on my first try. Okay. I've... Apparently I just needed a little bit of practice, a little bit... a uh, little bit of time to get into this game again. 
Um, after the previous part, after I defeated the dragon, I haven't played this game in five or six days again, until today. Um, until starting this very session right here. And uh, maybe I just needed needed to play for 15 minutes, that's, that's how long this recording is. Maybe I just needed to play 15 minutes to get back into this game again. Gargamel's Manor House again, let us try and see if we can do it this time. Look, now we actually have six extra lives, that's a whole lot better than in my previous attempt. So yes, after 15 minutes I am apparently back into this game. I, I even dodged that Black Smurf here right now, holy shit. Um, yeah, this is going much better right now. Let's kill that Black Wasp and grab the present. Okay, now let's see if I can... Okay, no, let's actually um, again kill the Black Wasp at first. There we go, and now let's see if I can... Yeah, there we go. Now I get, got that star without getting hit. Okay, much better performance than before. I don't even need to grab those berries, which, ma which makes it much easier to jump over that Black Smurf. And now... Yeah, see I just killed that guy, um, I still got hit once, which um, is not what I planned, but yeah, usually I kill that Black Smurf here with the present without getting hit. There we go, I could almost demonstrate touching that boiling pot here right now, but I really don't want to. You really need to believe me if I say that you cannot jump over this pot without the spring. You really, really do need the spring here to make it over that pot. There's an extra life here, let's quickly grab it. Got hit twice by that one black smurf, which is really bad. You can get a damage boost off of this wasp and then you can jump over the Venus flytrap. And so we can avoid that black smurf down there, that was really good. So yeah, you um, you cannot get under... You cannot jump um, if you are below one of those things here, those bookshelves or whatever those are supposed to be. So you need to jump to the right side, like here. We grab two leaves at once. Uh, let's just jump over here. We slightly went too far to the left and touched the Venus flight ramp. Um, but we, we will accept that. And now I got hit twice again here, just like in my previous attempts. We're back to playing horribly again. Shouldn't have died at that part with the Venus flight trap. That was very bad. And that usually doesn't, didn't happen. I usually always know what I'm doing at that part, and I usually don't overshoot. But this time I overshot and touched the Venus fly tra fly trap. You have to land at the at the right edge of that platform. Barely grabbed the star without being hit by the black smurf. Now let us grab this berry. There we go. Okay, let's be careful here. You need to stand on the very right edge of that table. To avoid touching that Venus fly trap. Now let's try to just... Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's how you deal with this part. Because you see, I need to kill that Black Smurf with, with the present because this platform here is in my way. You, you hit your head um, on the platform and then you fall down and that makes it difficult to jump over that Black Smurf. So in my opinion it's best to use that one present that you get to kill this very black smurf and not any other black smurf that's what i mean with this very black smurf you kill exactly that one and not any other one okay there we go we should hopefully be able now to clear that stage oh that's close wow that is close look at how close i'm standing to that venus fly trap okay now we got that berry and we filled some of our health. Now we need to jump over this guy. There we go. And if I remember correctly, then this is the end of the stage. That part with the extra life down there. Let me just kill that wasp. There we go. Grab the extra life. We have seven left. And that's the end of the stage. Stage 10 cleared. See? Um, this, this is actually just really easy. I, I've just played horribly in Act 9 and 10 before. But this time I've cleared... I've even cleared Act 10 and I still have 7 extra lives left. And I mean, we've started Act 8 after entering the password with 3 extra lives, so... Yeah, we've, we've been gaining extra lives in the whole process, so yeah, this really isn't that bad. Barely didn't make it to the extra life, that kinda sucks. 
boss music, and you can guess three times who it is. It's of course Gargamel, after all that's his manner. And um, let's see how, how this works. I think you need to make this guy drop the nut here, uh, to the very left. Oh, okay, we failed. We failed. Ah, now he dropped the nut onto that catapult thingy, but that's a little bit too late. Gargamel instantly kills you when he touches you. So you need to watch out for that. Let's stand at the very left side here. And now the nut successfully lands on the catapult and you can use the catapult to shoot that nut into Gargamel's fail face. Hit him a second time. Uh, you need to be really, really, really quick. You can't really fuck up. In my opinion, this is also a bit weird here in the, NES, in the NES version. The hitbox of the catapult is exceptionally weird. You really need to make that nut land on the absolute very edge of the catapult or else it will not count. Like here, did you see that? That nut fell through the catapult. And that's stupid. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can do it this time. There we go, hit him once. Hit him twice, there we go again. Three times, and is this enough? Yep, hit him four times and then he's dead. The smurf was, walks automatically to the left right now, I'm not pressing anything. And there's Smurfette, kissing our main smurf here. Congratulations, your courage and bravery has thwarted Gargamel's evil plans. The smurfs are waiting impatiently for your return. To smurf a big party in your honor. Happy music is playing and that's it, that's the end of the game. The final three stages are actually pretty easy. They're much, much easier than uh, the middle four stages. NES version. What does it say here? Bit managers? Um, by the way, I'm playing on an original um, European NES console right now. Not on an emulator this time, like, like with Silver Surfer. Um, but yeah. You can read the credits here right now for yourself. And what was I what was I going to say? Yeah. The game is basically divided into three sections. Um, there were ten stages in total. Ah yeah, that's the music. The music was made by Alberto Gonzalez. I did mention in part one, I think, that I believed it was a Spanish guy who uh, made the music and I wanted to look him up. But there you go, it says it right in the credits. The fantastic soundtrack of this game was made by Al Alberto Gonzalez. Um, but yes, um, the game is basically divided in three sections. There's ten stages in total. There's the fir first three stages, and then you get a password. Then there's another four stages, um, stages four to seven. And then you get the last password, and then there's stages eight to ten. And stages one to three and eight to ten are basically really easy. And the middle part um, is basically the most difficult. It's the longest part, it's four stages rather than three. And then at the end of, of it, you have to fight the shitty dragon. I, I really had a lot of trouble with the dragon in this Let's Play. Um, but yeah, after that, um, the final stages are very easy. In this attempt, you've seen me clear stages 8 and 9 on my first attempt. And then I think I died once in stage uh, 10, and then I cleared that. And then I just experimented a little bit with the boss, with Gargamel. He just killed me a few times, but then I found out how he works and I got him. Um, but yeah. Apart from the dragon, this is all really easy. I've been playing very, very badly in this Let's Play. But yeah, I haven't been playing this game in over one month and I apparently haven't, haven't really uh, gotten into this game very well, but I have a chance to redeem myself, as I've said, because I will do the higher difficulties at some point, but not right now. But yes, this is actually a pretty easy game, especially on easy difficulty. This, this was the easiest difficulty out of all. Um, but I still made a mess of things. I do genuinely have trouble with the dragon. I, I had trouble with the dragon back then and I still do now. But the other stages back then, after some practice, I, I, I had absolutely no, no problems with them anymore. I was able to um, beat this game um, without getting a game over and without with barely losing any lives, without any problems. Because this is really not a difficult game, a very, very fun game. We Europeans got very lucky here. This is a very, very fantastic Europe-only release. Um, very, very um, good game. One of only 33 
games that were released exclusively in Europe. So yes, maybe you enjoyed this Let's Play. I apologize for my horrible playing performance. And I will see you guys at the next Let's Play.